Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. Gold Squad. What it is, man. Look, check this out. Just watch the Hutchinson Lamos fight. Just watch that shit. And I have to disagree with the decision. Um, I see a very, very real problem with a lot of American trained, not just Afro-American trained American fighters, but actual American fighters tend to show this problem when they go against other fighters that tend to be volume punchers. OK, so do I think Hutchinson Hutchinson won that fight? No. I think I think Gus Gustavo won that fight personally. He was applying the pressure. He was dictating the pace of the fight. He hurt dude a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Damn near got to a point where he could have pretty much stopped him. All Hutchins was doing was was holding a lot. Um, just trying to really stay on his feet. Pretty much surviving most of the fight. Um, wasn't really. I mean, he fought cool. Like he was. He was to me. He was fighting to survive. In the beginning, it was cool. He was boxing cool. But another thing, y'all don't throw enough punches. You, you, you pretty, pretty boxing niggas. You niggas that like to fight pretty. Y'all like to fight pretty. And basically, y'all like to swim and not get wet type niggas. And y'all do all this trying to fight pretty and fight cute. And then when you fight somebody that's not going to allow you to do that, you have to learn how to be able to really duke it out and fight in the trenches. Meaning throwing multiple punches, throwing combinations, knowing how and when to throw these particular punches. And a lot of the times, because really a lot of y'all is not really used to taking punches. So a lot of the times it don't be the fact that y'all can't take punches. It's just the fact that when y'all actually get hit, because y'all probably not sparring dudes that's really touching y'all. Y'all probably sparring dudes that are not really as good as y'all or might be on your level, but they not good enough to where they actually giving you boxing lessons in sparring type shit. So when you get in there with a fighter who really don't give a fuck about none of that shit, who is really probably better than a lot of your sparring partners, and you get in there and you fight these dudes, and they start touching you and they start hitting you. You ain't used to that. So it's irritating. It's frustrating and all the shit. So what I'm saying is mentally you check out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So mentally you check out. That's why you see a lot of fighters that fight hella pretty, hella cute. They get stopped or beat the fuck up hella much because they so not used to getting beat and punished like that for like with, with that relentless type of pressure. And they used to hitting dudes with them single pot shots and all that shit, boxing pretty, trying to look all nice and cute. And that's cool if you fighting a dude who is following you, who don't know how to cut the ring off, who really don't know how to apply the right, the, do not know how to apply a, a precise type of pressure excuse me so when you fight those type of fighters yeah of course you're gonna look cute and all that shit throwing one maybe two punches at a time because they on they only looking for one punch at a time they not they not cutting the ring off properly they not applying a precise type of pressure to really make you nervous to where you actually gotta really be more defensively sound with your footing not just with your hands but with your footing as well and they got decent punch punch placement along with all that shit like nah you don't usually see those type of animals well lemos gusto lemos was that so when he when, when he was fighting Hutchins, Hutchins was doing cool to me, maybe round two, three, cool. But Gustavo was pressing the fight the whole time. Hutchins was too busy holding. If I was the referee, I would have if nothing else, you would have got a warning, bro. If nothing else, you would have got a warning. Okay? That didn't happen. <laughs> okay. So I don't think dude is going, when I look at Hutchinson, I don't think he's going to maintain himself at a world-class level. It's, it's nothing you could do about the opportunities that will come his way based on this, but I don't think he won that fight. I honestly don't think he, I just, I don't see it. Like, I don't, especially the last round nigga was trying to survive. It's like, come on, man, come on. Like some shit is just like, okay, I get it. He over here, got the favor, blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't like bruh put on a boxing clinic on, on Gustavo. Because he did. 
he was more worried about Gustavo and his pressure than his offense. His defense wasn't that cool. Every time he threw something, especially when he was trying to fight on the inside, of course you're going to get touched up by a nigga that's great at fighting in the motherfucking phone booth. You know what I'm saying? So, I think when it comes to African-American fighters and American-trained, some, I ain't going to say all, but some American-trained fighters, y'all like to swim and not get wet. Y'all don't throw combinations. It's like y'all throw them bop, okay, bop, but y'all don't throw the bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Like, I'll give you an example. Watch Tommy Hearns. For, just to give y'all a name of somebody that y'all can relatively identify with that was a straight boxer puncher, and he would throw combinations from his range. He didn't throw combinations aimlessly. He threw combinations from his range. So if you want to really get an idea of what I'm talking about as far as somebody trying to be a more a boxer and be cute, and that throws combinations and knows how to throw combinations and when to throw those particular combinations. Tommy Hearns. I would say Tommy Hearns. Who else? Yeah, Tommy Hearns. Somebody like Tommy Hearns. Um, hell, um, I know a lot of people don't like him, but he, Lennox Lewis. Like, he'll box you, but he'll throw multiple punches. I mean, I don't like Lennox too much. But he was who he was. Uh, Lennox Lewis. Uh, who else was more of a... Ali. Um, Larry Holmes. You know, um, he, I mean, you could say Ken Norton. Uh, like, like, dudes that knew when to throw combination punches that were actually more like boxer type dudes or boxer puncher type dudes. And Hutchinson don't really exude that type of style. He exudes that. I'm going to throw, I'm a, I got a good jab. I'm going to keep everything behind the jab, which is boxing 101. Great. Cool. Cool. Great. Awesome. But as far as me throwing multiple shots, I'm not, not. Nah. And yeah, another thing about Hutchinson, you can get caught, bro. You can get caught in the slugfest. When you was leaning and trying to throw, you could get caught in the You could have got easily caught in a slugfest with bro. Bad idea, homie. Throw combinations from your range that you're comfortable with and know when to do that shit. Not aimlessly, bro. And I think motherfuckers don't train like that. They don't train to throw combinations and control the range, controlling, doing those particular combinations. So... That's what I see. I see if y'all was to fight again, I think Gusto would get you. Because he almost got you this time. But congratulations to you, bro. I do wish you good fortune in the future. But uh, in my personal humble opinion, bro, you ain't win that shit, bro. You ain't win that shit, bro. But hey, tables turned your way, bro. It is what it is. But yeah, I think fighters that fight like that, Eventually, bro, it's that 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 type of fighting is gonna get played out once you start seeing them dudes fight the guys that are actually there to fucking fight. They don't care about that cute boxing shit. Like you are in, a, I get it. You know, an art form. I get it. You know, a style of fighting. But nigga, when you get in there with another person, it is a fight. I don't care how you want to cook it or cut it or base it, nigga. It is a scrap. You are fighting. You you have your style to of fighting. You need to go in there and fight this motherfucker. And Gustavo did his thug thing, in my opinion. Salute to you, Gustavo Lemos. Appreciate what you're doing, your contribution to the sport of boxing. You was not coming in there to lay down. You was not coming in there to give up your O willingly, bro. Respect to you. I think you won the fight. One.